What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Score, the one who never knows the best. And in today's video, bringing some more Dragon Ball Fighters ranked matches against another Pride Trooper. I am actually just sitting here forever on end, just waiting for the Pride Troopers that come my way. And today we're playing Kefla Bardock Trunks, which is the team I thought that I would be playing this season before this season actually started. And we knew that Kefla was coming in season three. Because I assumed that if I liked Kefla, which I do, I would just drop Android 18 and put Kefla in her place because Bardock and Trunks is kind of just what I've been playing uh since season one of the game and it's just i just any character that i like i just throw them on in front of them and usually it's, it's, it's a pretty solid team and usually i have fun with it and that's still the case with this team and i like it a lot it's just well if you've been watching the videos you know i just haven't been able to settle but our opponent today is playing bardock base vegeta and vegito blue and y'all know how i feel about vegito and honestly all the blue haired characters but hey we're gonna see if we can put on some work today, rack up some more points uh, from prior trooper ranks and work our way up to that Ultra Instinct sign, hold a 6H, thank you. I mentioned it before, but man, that move is so hard to block. It's three frames slower than a 6M is, but because your feet don't leave the ground, it's a lot more ambiguous, and it's just hard to block. And speaking of hard to block, looks like our opponent doesn't really know how to deal with the, oh, we don't get wall bounce off that. Looks like our opponent didn't know how to deal with the, uh, oops, C assist, I'm not a fan of C assist. Uh, didn't know how to block the hound zone. We messed that up, but it's okay. 6M, reflected it, good stuff. With the 2H there. Oh, we got hit by the Key Blast, avoiding the Rocket Kick. He's playing Bardock B assist. 6H. We managed to vanish the vanish. Ooh. Trunks, ooh! Dropped it, it's okay. Trunks caught my back with the, uh, change the future assist. Unfortunately, when I dropped it, I'm a... I was gonna raw tag randomly just to like throw off the momentum of the match real quick, but that was a mistake. No sir, no sir. So many people online love, and I mean love the super dash after getting their 2 h blocks. It's a bad habit I somehow picked up just from fighting other people who do it, and I'm not fond of it. I don't do it. Oh, vanish out of there. Oh, it's okay, we didn't get caught. Jump out, raw tag, no, okay. It's fine, just don't 6 and It's okay, he dropped it, we're out. Lariat, super dash, no. Couple trunks, thank you. Can I get the Kefla back in time? Yes, I can. I still can't take him out, so we're gonna hit him with this reset. There's the guard cancel, thank you, I'll take that gladly. I'm glad I staggered the pressure there. Call Kefla. I cannot kill here either, and I didn't do the combo I wanted to do. But that will do it. That'll definitely do it. It actually looks like our opponent is on the brink of being de-ranked down to Rosé if we win this match in the next one, as a matter of fact. Oh, oh, oh. Lariat, 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 vanish. <laughs> uh, man, I know a lot of people still have some uh, strong feelings about Bardock. I, I love the character. I love him in the game. I love him in the anime. I mean, his, his special is honestly... like I, I like the Bardock special more than I like most of the Dragon Ball movies, personally. Um, I know a lot of people have some sour feelings about the characters because of how good he's always been in this game, but hey man, it'd be like that when it'd be like that. I have my fair share of characters I hate fighting too, so I understand. Granted, not all of the characters I dislike fighting are as good as Bardock, but hey, I'm, un I'm entitled to my opinions too. <laughs> Alright, that should be game one going to us. For a second, I thought it dropped though. One thing I gotta improve on, and it's it's hard to do, because like there's there's a lot of things I need to improve on, right? But with me jumping back and forth between so many teams right now, uh, I haven't really gotten down a consistent timing of when to do my DHCs, because there'll be certain times, and I'm sure you guys have seen it in my videos, where I'll DHC you from like Bardock into Kefla or whatever, and I'll whiff a super or like I don't know, base Vegeta into Trunks or something, and like it, it, it's it's weird too, because like it's not like it's necessarily hard, it's just because I'm not used to playing these different combinations and I haven't played them consistently, and I'm constantly jumping around. I just haven't gotten gotten it like ingrained into me how to time these DATs, but fortunately we pulled it off there to win the game. That brings us to just over 1.5 million. Ooh. He was not ready for that side switch. I don't know why I paused so long there. I guess because I didn't want to drop it. I also have not been uh used to um Oh didn't mean to do that. I'm glad he reflected there and nothing more because he could have 2H'd us I'm pretty sure. I should have 2H'd him speaking of we're just gonna, okay, I thought we were gonna, I thought the auto combo would catch him there, but it did not. Um, can I extend off the Bardock if I'm not trash? Yes, sir. Oh, wait, that's not gonna give me, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Anyway, what I was trying to, oh, you got loops? Nah, he just had one rep, wait. That's an interesting route, I've never seen anyone do that before. 
deflect all of that. Ah, my JM didn't come out, it's fine. Larry, <gasps> Woo, we avoided that just barely. Anyway, I, I want to get this out before I forget. <laughs> I'm getting caught up in the match. Um, I was going to say, I hadn't gotten used to extending Kefla's combos off of the Bardock Assist because like, I, I just hadn't been practicing it just because I've been playing so many other teams. Shout out to Kefla Assist, by the way, catching the whiff on Vegito for me. Do I want to level 3? A little bit of lag spike. We'll definitely level 3 just to kind of wait out the lag. But yeah, I hadn't really practiced extending off of Bardock with Kefla. And it's not like it's hard at all. I just had practiced it, so I wasn't sure if I could do it. And I did it. Oh wow, he just ran up 5-0 and I got caught. I tried to jump out of the way. I thought I had time, but I was clearly wrong. I should have reflected, I guess. Or just blocked. Don't six at me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh wow. The hit stun on that assist is absolutely insane. Ah, uh, that's a that's Bardock. Bardock's a goner. If he doesn't drop this. Please drop it. I was hoping the hit stun would wear off, but it did not. Up oh, down goes Bardock, but on the bright side, he wasted his spark and his Vegito is leaking. Um, yeah, that Bardock B assist is a problem. It is indeed a problem. I genuinely feel like it is too strong, and that's coming from a Bardock player. I think that between the hit stun, the block stun, and the tracking, something's got to give. I don't think it should have all three of those things. It's got They got to take away the tracking of the hit stun, because 80 frames of hit stun is absolutely absurd, in my opinion. Ooh, that was the second hit of the auto combo, too. That should be base Vegeta down. Level 1, level 1. Right, and that puts us in a pretty good position. Um, yeah, because now we have the health advantage, and we still have our sparking. I don't really want Trunks out here, but we'll deal with it for now. I tried to backflip before I did my Key Blast, because you know that's one of my round start options against Bardock if you watch me. And I made the right read, I just didn't do the right input, so that sucks. Ooh, good chase on the back dash with the Lariat. Good stuff, good read. Alright, I'm gonna delay attack. And reflect. <gasps> Why did I get caught there? I must have accidentally backdashed, which is one of my worst bad habits. I don't know why I backdashed there. There was no reason to. I have to spark here now to save Trunks. I don't know why you vanished there, but I'm glad you did. Little extension. My man is mashing, mashing. That's fine. Um, puts us in a bad spot. Please don't level 3. You should level 3, but please don't. Oh, well, there goes all my spark time. Is he going to run up Dragon Rush or run up Tick Throw? I'm going to block low. And wait for a throw. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Yes, sir! Alright, that's going to be Bardock down. Alright. No sweat. No sweat. Level 1. Okay, okay, we're in a good position. This is far from over, but with such a big meter advantage and with two characters versus his one Vegito, granted Limit Break is a thing, uh, both my characters are really, realistically, one touch from dying, but... We should be in the clear. Oh, good guard cancel. I'm just going to dash out of there. I was waiting for a vanish there. He didn't get it. All the trunks. <sighs> the odd oh, what was I doing? Why was I mashing? Oh, wait. He dropped it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I thought for sure that switch would connect. Oh, he was a little low. He was a little low. Trunks assist. Thank you. All right. That should be game two to us. <gasps> no. It's okay. Wasn't watching his head. I don't know why he wasn't watching his head. I don't know why our combo dropped, but it is what it is. I think that's actually going to demote him down to Super Saiyan Rose, but we'll probably give him a third match anyway just because it took me so long to find a Pride Trooper. Yeah, that's a rank down for him. That's another nearly 4,000 points for us. We'll give him one more if he wants it, and he does. So we'll run the first to three, and then I'll try to find another Pride Trooper, which is probably going to take me a minute. But you guys really enjoy these Pride Trooper matches. I enjoy these Pride Trooper matches. And hey, if I win them, I get a lot more points. So win, 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 win. Oh, the base Vegeta assist. So much hit stun. Yes, yes, sir. I figured he would backdash there because that's what I would have done there. So I chased him down with the 5M. The 5M barely connected. He did that mad late, but fortunately, oh, I tried to backdash, but I didn't have space because my back's against the wall. He super dashed there. I keep cutting myself off and saying other things because there's just so much happening in the match right now. Uh, hold this hell zone. I need spark, early spark. I'll always take that. I called Bardock way too early. Way too early. Still not consistent with that, as you can see. Like I said, just just not used to it. It's not necessarily hard. You just call Bardock right when you knock the character down. I just did it way, way, way too early. Just wait him out. Wait for my assist to come back. Do I want a raw tag? I kind of want a raw tag. That was a really bad idea. 
That was a really bad idea. I thought it was so random that it would, you know, he wouldn't be ready for it, but he was patient, and I don't agree with the snap here at all, but... He got caught that overhead again. For those of you who don't know, if you get, like, staircase like that in this game, uh, when you block those first couple hits in the air, that last hit, that it's always going to be a jump heavy. Well, not always, right, but... 99% of the time, it's going to be a jump heavy, and that hit is overhead, so you have to keep stand blocking in that situation. Lag, spike, I don't like this at all. I couldn't block because of the lag. Ooh, it is hitting 9 frames, and he's still going crazy. He's still going crazy in the 9 frames. You can't rocket kick in 9 frames. That's cheating, that's cheating. Come on, bro. Okay, okay, it cleared up. I don't know what I just did, but... <laughs> It worked. That's not what I intended to do at all, but hey, we take those. He get hit by the hell zone again. Does not know how to deal with it clearly, but I'm not ready to confirm off of it when he gets hit. He's waiting for a raw type from me. Don't super dash after a 2H, bro. That's not the play. I'm gonna get Kefla out of here just to retain the assist, because her health is low, and if we get hit, she we lose her. Ooh, barely avoided that. Chop the trunks, 6M plus assist, good vanish. We avoid the destructive disc assist, it goes right over our head. Ooh, EX command grab. I, I, I forget that it's even an option for Vegito. Like, whenever I'm fighting Vegito, I'm never thinking about that, like when I'm fighting 16 or, uh, I guess really just 16, but Broly too. Like, the EX command grab's not something I, I remember all the time as an option that he has. That's gonna be Vegito blue down. Looking pretty solid this game, we should be able to bring it home, but he's 5 bars and base Vegito and Bardock is nothing to toy around with. Man, as good as I feel like the rocket kick is, I feel like most of the base Vegeta players I've been fighting don't get as much mileage out of it as I do. But then again, I use it way more than they do. But I feel like my success rate with blocking it is like really high. Just playing some neutral. Oh, there's the Bardock assist. I think he Dragon Rush there a little too early anyway. But I reacted to the Dragon Rush with too well. Which is like one of the buttons I use most often to tech with. And we just ended up getting full combo and taking out his base Vegeta for it. So, you love to see it. Or at least I love to see it. He might not love to see it, but I love to see it. Are you gonna Lariat? Nah, you wouldn't do that. That wouldn't be smart. Trunks, 6H. Good reflect. My guy's pretty good at avoiding the 6H. Let's do it again. Ooh, good stuff. I see you. We're going for it a little too often. It's such a good option just because, like, even though you don't get the most damaging combos off of it mid screen, I just had such a high success rate with it that I just tend to use it. I overuse it. I use it more than I should. Ooh, okay, at least he couldn't twitch me there. Shining Slash? No. Ooh, why would you vanish there? Good chase on the back dash, but you're plus four on that. There's no reason to vanish there, because you actually have less frame advantage by vanishing than you do by just taking it. I'm a raw tag, by the way. <laughs> just because I didn't want Trunks out. Um, I can't kill here, but it's going to be close. We can reset him, though. I messed up the spin. Keep laps. Keep lap. Ooh. I'm gonna super dash. <laughs> Got him with the jump light on the way down. And that's gonna be 3-0 to us. And so we're gonna try to find another opponent, hopefully another pride trooper. And hopefully it doesn't take me too too long. And uh yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, y'all know the like button is free. Yeah, I know it's been a minute since I hit you with that one. Hey, we actually managed to find this match a little bit quicker than our last one. Looks like he's got over 6,000 games played. He's playing base Vegeta, Trunks, Yamcha. Now that's the team I can get behind. A uh, pretty strong team. I mean, y'all know how I feel about base Vegeta and Trunks already. Yamcha, I honestly feel, is just as good, if not better, than Trunks right now. I feel like he's probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest anchor in the game currently that you can pick. Uh, but that's just my two cents. It's just my current opinion on where he stands. So, um, yeah, this team is this team is dangerous. This team is dangerous. And he's played this game a lot, so I'm sure he knows, uh, knows, knows a thing or two. Alright, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Uh, I'm just gonna jump back, call Trunks, that's my safe round start. Managed to get him with the falling heavy. Blam. Walk up, Bardock. Didn't expect him to get hit by that, but he did. Hit him with the knockdown into the hell zone to see what he does on reaction to it. Reflects it. Good stuff, we avoid the rocket kick. And we command dash out of there. Also, he's playing red trunks, so that means I get blue trunks, which I'm not a fan of, but is what it is. Also, blue combos, no tech on that, but hey, we take those. Blue combos still take down characters. Blue combos still take down characters. Also, let me immediately mash this DHC, and I don't want to whiff that. 
That's tough. Got caught by the blue combo. Gotta hold those buttons, guys, when you're getting hit. Gotta tech those. Lariat, yes, sir. We'll vanish. Take the damage here. I drop my spin. Early spark. I feel it. Well, it's not that early, considering that he already lost the character, I guess. But nice extension. I 2 aged way too early. I knew he wanted to super dash, but I was uh, preemptive with it as opposed to reacting to it. Reflex. Wild tie, because he jumps. Key blast. Yeah, that's what I would do. He tried to change the future and messed up. I would know. I know exactly what that looks like. Can't empty banish here because he dropped it. Or not he dropped it. He ran out of spark. I don't know why so he dropped it. But uh, yeah, I, he, he did exactly what I would in that situation. He did a, a key blast and tried to do change the future, but he dropped it uh, and accidentally did a reflex. Been there, done that. Right, light spin. We've got two bars. We'll spend one on the sand spirit. See what he does to this. Just blocks it. Oh, he vanished there. If he's going to do that again, we're definitely going to 2 him for it next time. I don't know why I jumped. I should have just patiently waited. That's the whole reason why I did it, was to see what he did after blocking that. And then I jumped. Ooh, the backdash avoids the Larry, good stuff. Blocks both overheads, hold this Kepler assist for me. I messed up the cross up. I should have went for jump light, not jump heavy if I wanted a cross up. You're actually playing C assist for Trunks. This is the first person I've run into ever that's running Trunks with C assist. Uh, I haven't really tried out Trunks' C assist in any matches, but just from messing around with it in training mode, I don't really see a reason to play it over the A or B assist, but maybe he knows something I don't. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Mm -hmm. the, oh, I wasn't watching my dome piece. That's exactly what I would have done. Change the future, make you block an assist, and then into the overhead. I do that to people all the time. Level 3? Mm -hmm. Is he going to immediately change the future, overhead, or go low? Trunks' level 3 OP is actually pretty good, so like, I don't even know what I want to do here. I'm going to try to command dash. I messed it up. And then he's going for Dragon Rush a lot. He's not confirming a lot of these hits, and I've let him get away with a lot of throws. Um, and just like that, we started off really strong, and now we're far behind. I uh, one away from the burn is Yamcha assist. I don't want to go in before well, he still has that. He called, <sighs> called it after the super dash plus assist. I, you know, it's funny. I just made a tweet about this, right? About <laughs> I just made this tweet earlier about how people will jump back and forth for it. Get that off me. Come on, I'm a Trunks player, too. Uh, people will just jump back and forth for 20 seconds in neutral, and then they just super dash plus assist. And I fall for it every time. Still hanging on to that Yamcha assist. Don't twitch me. Okay. Slowly whittling down this trunks. It's not looking good for us right now, but I believe. Burn the Yamcha, darn you. Alright, Yamcha's gone. Or, no, no, it's not gone. The Yamcha assist is gone. Trunks is gone. And now it's just me and Yamcha. Now he's got limit break in four bars, so this is very dangerous, but I still have my sparking, so. No, not to crawl. I'm dead. I'm dead. Why didn't I spark? Why didn't I spark after that first hit? I tried to. I just failed. Well, game one, we lost. Unless he drops this. Please drop it. You, know, you ain't got these. You ain't got these. He didn't drop it. Uh, nothing hurts more than dying with your sparking still. There is no greater shame. There's no bigger pain in my heart than dying with sparking. Ah, uh, so we started off so strong, and then we just completely melted. We started off really, really strong, and then we just completely folded. I just, just wasn't playing well at all towards the end of that match. That's fine. Can't win them all. We lost almost 5,000 points from that. We are gaining 4k per win and losing almost 5,000. That's nuts. Let me jump out? No, okay. I don't know why I always want to jump out of a stagger. I should be reflecting. Or just patiently blocking, but Lord knows I don't know how to patiently block anything. He dropped it. Bardock's Now he's dashing. And I got caught by the key blast. Okay, we're just, we're just making a lot of really bad decisions right now. He's making good ones and we're making bad ones. Yo, where's... Oh, I'm an idiot. I tried to raw tag in a Bardock, but I had just burned my Bardock assist, so I couldn't. I didn't have him available. Not even paying attention to my own team right now. <laughs> Remember what I said about making bad decisions? Yeah, we're we're doing that to the best of our ability, it looks like. I actually think his team is, like, super strong. Like, stronger than what I'm working with right now, to be honest. I think Trunks is super good at mid. And honestly, I want to play a team that has Trunks at mid. I just don't know what... I've actually been dropping that side switch a lot lately, so I'm surprised I got it there. I'm surprised I even went for it, considering how much I've been dropping it. Runs the spark early. Why would I do that? It's okay. We blocked the rocket kick, and he went for an empty banish. And oh my, he's super dashing. People get in that sparking, and they just feel like they gotta mash, mash, mash. Not that he's mashing it, per se. I just mean like, they feel like they have to aggress, is what I really mean to say there. 
Let's get the Trunks Assist. Level 3. Alright, big damage. Um, we're, we're still a little bit behind, but I'd say we still have a pretty good chance considering that Bardock and Trunks are... What, Bardock? Bardock and Trunks are both still healthy, and we still got our Sparking. And he tried to mash something on Wake Up. Like, probably EX Rocket Kick, because that's exactly what I would have done. And just like that, I would have also gotten hit overhead. He definitely should have Wake Up EX Rocket Kick, if I'm a betting man. Lariat? Whoa. Yo, I was definitely blocking low, excuse me? Mash. Bad idea. Okay. Bad decisions. Bad decisions all around. We just lost Bardock because I felt like mashing. I don't know why I would do that in that situation when he had so much bar. And if I was wrong, I lose a character. And just like that, I lost a character. Um, yeah, just a lot of really bad decision making right now. Just a lot of really bad decision making right now. Uh, we can definitely beat this guy, but we're just not making the right decisions. Also, I can't stand it when, when, I, when somebody else gets my color. Not that that has anything to do with, like, him playing better than me right now, but I hate when... I get a color that I didn't pick because like even though the blue color is fine, good to which even though the blue color is fine, it, like I I keep seeing red trunks and thinking that's me. I got a spark here. How, how did he avoid that? That's not the right combo, Lotus. I dropped that. The, the, the messed up part is like even though that's not the combo I meant to do, I can't believe I dropped it because like I'm usually so much more consistent with that. Alright, at least we caught him with the same side chance of future. That's pretty big damage. It reflects. Oh my goodness. That's so fast. Can you believe that move used to be faster? 2H? No, he didn't do it. He reflected there. Why would you reflect there? Ooh, he tried to do something. Maybe jump? Alright, this is looking good. Alright, now it's just his trunks versus mine. Who is the superior sword boy here? Y'all always calling my trunks OD and saying how sick I am with this character and talk about how y'all need a guide for me, but if I lose here, I'm not the one you should be looking at. And I- ooh! Maybe I am the one who should be making a guide. <laughs> Maybe I am the one who should be making a guide. Alright, we lost like 4600, what are we gonna get now? 3900 back? Yeah, so we're still down by 500, but whatever. Alright, that's 1-1. One, one. Um... Vito's already kind of long because I ran three matches with that first guy. I should have left after I deranked him, to be honest, and just found another Pride Trooper, but I didn't get my jump heavy. I mean, not my jump heavy, but my J2H. I accidentally did a jump heavy. Off to a pretty bad start here, not gonna lie. I'm really perplexed by the fact he's using C assist with Trunks because I just feel like that's his worst assist, personally. I mean, it. I, saying that, though, right? Like, all his assists are good. I feel like C assists are better than they need to be, to be honest, but um, I just feel like... I don't know, just me personally, I just prefer the other two assists. Alright, we had to get Trunks in here, which I'm not a big fan of, but better than losing Kefla. I meant to do a jump medium, not a- oh my god, every every time, bro! He's resetting me with these dragon versus every time. I meant to do a jump medium there, not a 5M, and he definitely would've got hit by the jump medium, is, is the worst part about it. I hate when I accidentally do something wrong like that, and the thing I wanted to do was the right answer. But, yeah, just gotta be better with my execution. I did that all wrong. And I'm in Sparking. I could have just went for a Spark mix up in the first <sighs> I didn't get my two edge. I could have just went for a Spark mix up in the first place, and I meant to tag into Bardock, not Kefla, but whatever. And I dropped the combo. Okay, we're just playing very poorly right now. <laughs> we're not playing as solid as we were these last couple matches. Lots of execution errors and misinputs and bad decisions all around. And my opponent is staying solid. Uh, we could still win this, but we're <sighs> uh, why did you get hit by that? We're just gonna Bardock. We're just gonna Bardock. We're just gonna Bardock. When in doubt, mash it out. When in doubt, mash it out. And now we're in a pretty good position, because now his spark is running out. And yeah, are you gonna change the future? No, he didn't. He jumped back. I guess he was waiting for the Lariat, but change the future would have beat Lariat. I got caught by the Yamcha, and he's getting so much mileage out of Dragon Rush right now. I haven't get, I haven't been hit with this many Dragon Rushes in a long time. Into the Yamcha level 3. We'll block low, try to react to high. <sighs> the cross-up is so good. He reset me, you cheeky bastard. You cheeky bastard, he reset me. That won't happen ever again. I dare you to try that again. I dare you to try that one again. You're real cute, but I dare you to try it again. Okay, caught him in the air with the auto combo. We'll hit him with the level 3 here. I, I thought about going for Hellzone, but I'd rather take the damage right now. Especially off a medium skill combo. I mean, I don't really got any good setups off this, but we'll just run up Dragon Rush. 
Good break. Really good break. I wish I could say the same for myself. Thank you so much for that vanish. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how much that means to me. You're so kind. You're so, you're just the you're just the greatest type of person. Uh, you're just so generous. I can't thank you enough. Now, if you want to do me the favor and just not going crazy with trunks and making this comeback, that would be swell. Oh, you didn't twitch me. You're so you're so generous. I don't know why you reflected from full screen like that. I'm not exactly sure what you're expecting, but I'm glad you did it. Alright, I don't think we can take him out here, but we're gonna level one, level three anyway. Spend all the bar because the less health he has, the better. I don't think I let that Kefla super rock all the way, did I? Alright, we're gonna JM, JL into Shining Slash. No, he reflected on Wake Up. Nice work. And he's gonna level 3 here. Now we're in a bad position. You know, I wasn't anticipating a, a, a reflect there at all. I I don't know why, it just wasn't even a thought in my mind that he would reflect. So many people just don't. Will he do it? Should I do it back? I'm glad I didn't. I thought about it. He definitely baited me. He de I, I thought about doing it back, and he baited me with the fake out change the future. I'm glad I jumped out of the way, punished him with a JM. That's going to be 2-1 us. Uh, this video has already been like super duper long, so I think I'm going to end it here. But good games to both of my opponents. Or wait, was that 2-1 or 2-2? Nah, that was that was definitely 2-1, right? I can't count. Keeping track of the amount of matches I played in videos is becoming increasingly harder. But yeah, that's already a pretty lengthy video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed these ma these matches at Pride Trooper. They, they take some time to find, but they're always really, really good sets. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all those content I plan to bring you. And with all that being said, that's pretty much all I have today. And remember, let the Catholics win the bag. Later.